Hello everyone. Today's story is Why Do Bees Buzz? Author Navanita Deshmukh, illustrator Zainab Tambawala. Why do bees buzz? What does buzz mean? Bzzz. Yes, it is the sound made by bees that are the creatures that you can see here. Why do they make that sound? Let us find out in today's story. Bzzz. Hey, what's all that buzz about? Is it a code word used by bees to call their friends? Or a hum of excitement when honey is spotted? You see these two people here in this picture, right? They are talking. They are hearing a lot of bzzz, bzzz, bzzz sound and they are asking, Hey, what is this buzz about? Is it a code word, a secret word that bees use to call each other? Or a hum of excitement because they are so happy they are doing this sound. When because they are spotted honey and they become excited and make this sound. Bees, particularly Bumblebees make a loud buzzing sound as they fly. The sound is made when the wings beat up and down. The smaller the wings, the faster the bees have to beat them in order to fly. And the quicker they beat, the louder the buzz. So bees Especially bumblebees, they make a loud sound when they fly. And when is it made? When they beat their wings up and down, when the wings go up and down as they fly. If the wings are smaller, they have to beat it even faster. And the faster they beat, the sound is even louder. Bees also buzz to do something very useful. They carry pollen from one flower to the other like a postman delivering letters. So bees also buzz for one more useful thing. What is it for? They carry pollen. What is pollen? Yes. It is the powder that you see in the flower, usually yellow in color. And bees help in taking pollen from one flower to another flower. Pollen is the powdery grain on flowers. Pollen helps plants to make seeds. Bees are excellent pollinators. Thanks to them, many new plants grow and sprout all around. So, as we saw, pollen is the powdery, small, tiny, grain-like particles on flowers in the center of the in the center of the flower. And these pollen help plants to make seeds. And what happens from seeds? Yes, new plants grow. So, bees are excellent, very good pollinators. Pollinators are nothing but animals that carry pollen from one flower to the other flower, from one plant to the other plant. So, because of that, many new plants grow and sprout. When a plant grows from the seed, it's called sprouting. So they help plants sprout all around. How do those tiny grains of pollen stick to the bee's feet? When bees sit on a flower to suck honey, the grains of pollen stick to their feet and bodies. So one thinks, how does pollen attach or stick to the bee's 
feet. So when bees sit on the flower to suck honey, why do they sit on the flower? Because they want to drink the honey from the flower. Like that, right? That's so called sucking. Sucking the honey. So when they sit on the flower to suck the honey, all these small, small pollen stick to the bees, feet, body and everywhere. Then when the same bees buzz near a flower and perform a lively dance, the quivering shakes the pollen off on other flowers. The bees then fly to other flowers where they leave the pollen behind to pick up new ones and this process continues. So when the bees after drinking nectar or honey from this flower, they go up and they dance. So when they dance like this, they quiver shaking fast. So when this, the pollen drops from their body to the other flowers around them. Afterwards, they fly to another flower and sit. So the remaining for pollen falls on the other flowers and they pick up new pollen from this flower and take it to another flower. So this process keeps going from flower to flower to flower. Bees are the buzzing godfathers of many new plants that grow away from the parent tree. So bees can also be called as godfathers of new plants because by carrying pollen from one flower to the other flower, they help many new plants to grow, which are far away from the parent tree. Can you hear your own breath? Usually not, but you can hear a bee breathing. That is because the buzz is also the sound of the bee breathing. It has a small segmented body. So when it breathes, the air gets on a roller coaster ride through all those bumpy parts inside and creates a buzz. Sounds pretty exciting, doesn't it? Aren't those busy bees truly amazing? So, can you hear yourself breathe? If I do that, yes, I can hear. But normally, no. But a bee, you can hear it breathing. And that is also the buzzing sound. So, what is seg? Mented body mean? Let's see how a bee is. Yes, you can see, right? The bee has different parts here. Yellow, brown, yellow, brown. So it's divided into segments or parts. So when the bee breathes, the air passes from one segment to another segment to another segment to another segment. Look at this picture. And when the air grows from one segment to the other segment, it has a bumpy ride. It has to go like this. And it is like a roller coaster. So a roller coaster is a like a train-like thing which goes like up and down like that, right? And you must have seen in Wanderla. So when it goes up and down, it makes a sound. And that is also the sound of the bus. So isn't that truly amazing, wonderful? Did you know bees are hard workers? In winter, they can live up to nine months and in summer, only up to two months. All work and no play does not make them dull. So bees work very hard and in winter they live up to nine months but only 
two months in the summer season. But they love to work so much. A curious case of the bees is that when they do the work of a younger bee, their brain stops aging. It starts working like a younger bee's brain. Do you now wish you were a bee? So, a curious case, an unusual fact about bees that when they do the work of a younger bee, then their brain stops aging. Aging means it stops growing old and they start working like the younger bee, not like an older bee. Isn't that really a curious case or a strange fact? Bees recognize faces just like human beings do. Each part of the face is first taken separately, then put together to make up the face. Remember not to anger a bee. So bees can recognize faces, meaning they can figure out today if they see you, they can, th they can know tomorrow who you are. So what do they do? Look at this picture here. They put the face part by part. They first take it separately and then they join together and then they put together to make up your whole face and they remember it. So do not anger a bee for tomorrow he will know who caused him that bad thing. Caffeine, a chemical used by plants to keep away harmful insects, helps bees remember the location of the flower. It welcomes the bees for a second visit. So, how do bees remember that they have come to this flower and can go there again? So, it is because of a chemical called caffeine. So this chemical caffeine, the flower generates so that all the bad insects cannot come near that flower. But this helps the bees to identify that flower for a second visit. Bumblebees are larger than honey bees and other types of bees. They live in hives and love to socialize. Many bumblebees do not have a sting. They may not produce much honey, but are excellent pollinators. So bumblebees, there are bumblebees, honeybees. So bumblebees are a little bit larger and round at the bottom. They do not sting. Sting is like poking you, right? They do not sting so much. And they live in hives. That's where they live. Hives, you see in this picture, the six-sided structure, right? Hexagon. This is where bees live and it is called a hive. And they love to socialize. They love to talk to each other. So these bumblebees do not give so much honey, but they are very good pollinators. Pollinators are the ones that carry pollen from one flower to the other flower and help in making seeds. Be a bee. A honey bee performs a dance that tells the rest of the hive where to find nectar. Now try to express some information through dance moves and see if your friends are able to understand what you are communicating. So how do bees communicate? Communicate is talking, expressing themselves to the other person. So honeybees, what do they do? They perform a dance. Now you try performing what you want to tell your friend through some dance. 
and then see if they understand that. Try buzzing like a bee. Flap your arms and see if you can hear a buzz. Okay, can you buzz like a bee? Try flapping your arms like this and see if you can hear a zzz sound. A honeycomb, the house of the bees, is known to be a masterpiece of engineering. Why do you think? Try and draw perfect hexagons as in a honeycomb or make models using ordinary cartons. Maybe you will guess the answer then. So remember, we saw the hive, it's also known as a honeycomb. It is the house of the bees. And it is built so good that it is called as masterpiece of engineering because they have built their house so well. And it is the six-sided structure all joined together, right? And that is called a hexagon, the six sides. Now, to find if it is easy or tough, why don't you draw perfect hexagons in as like that in a honeycomb or make models using cartons or cardboard paper? Then you will know whether it is good engineering or not. Try to carefully smell different flowers. You could then imagine how honey made from the nectar of different flowers can also taste different. So as another project, smell different flowers and then you can imagine how honey from each flower will taste. I hope you enjoyed the story with me. Thank you. Here are meanings to some words. Excitement, feeling very enthusiastic, happy. Pollinator, that which moves pollen from one flower to another. Quivering, to shake with fast motion. Honeycomb, it is the hive or the house of bees as you can see in the picture. Nectar, sugary liquid in flowers. You probably saw quite a few questions when we read the story itself. I hope you tried them. Now think about some of these questions as well. Find out the difference between honey and bumblebee. When do bees make buzzing sound? Can you draw a honeycomb? Thank you. I hope you enjoyed reading the story along with me.